boogie boogie jam, boogie boogie jam to the Irish music. <laughs> All right, you guys. So welcome. That is correct. What? Oh, I can see comments. Oh, bonus. Hi, Nancy. Oh, how you doing, baby girl? Um. So hi, you guys. My name is Artist Nicole, and for those of you guys that don't know me, and I own Artful Nights Maine, and <laughs> hello, Betty Cameron. Yes, uh, you look crazy, too. So, uh, look at this beautiful painting that we're painting tonight, you guys. Don't you just want to grab your oars and ride her off in this boat? I know I do. I want to ride off into the sunset. <laughs> Watch out, I got my oar. <laughs> Not my oar, my oar. So, take a good look, everybody, because this is what we're going to be doing tonight. And, <clears throat> for you folks, I apologize for having to delay a couple, couple weeks in a row. Problem is, is I am trying to do a bunch of makeup shows and do live shows in the real world. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And what's happened is I had I did 14 shows in 14 days in the real world. Hello, Jessica Stockmar. And hello, beautiful Miss Revan, you cute little patoot. You're growing so fast. Um, so basically, you guys, I've been burning the candle at both ends. But things are going to be slowing down. So let me tell you what. I guarantee you that when I say I'm going to see you at 7 o'clock on Sunday from now on, it's going to happen. All right. So how you guys been? Good? I know I've been good. So I thought what I would do is take an opportunity because perhaps there are somebody out there that has not seen my show that's actually seen it for the first time. Perhaps. So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on everything that we use, okay? We use three different size brushes. We use a big boy, a medium brush, and a little brush. And it's that simple. A lot of these online folks are telling you that you need size 10. This is the thing. When you're ready to create, create. Okay, go to your local craft store, pick up your favorite brush, you know, pick up a multi-pack because this is a deal, okay? We all have a different touch. We all sign our name different. We all use different amounts of pressure. So go to your local craft store, find the brushes that, you know, get a multi-pack. They're cheap. All right? Don't go out and spend hundreds of dollars. You don't need to do that to create. Because art is what makes your heart happy. And if you're using that as kind of a thing to just hold off a little bit, don't do that. Okay, you guys? Go out there. Get your supplies. Go get a multi-pack. Find the brushes that work for you and start creating. There you go. So in all of my shows, you're going to have a big brush. You're going to have a medium-sized brush. And you're going to have a little brush. Get a multi-pack, figure out which one works best for you, okay? That's that. Now, the other thing is, when I paint, I always paint on, for these shows, I paint on um, 11 by 14 canvases for these online shows, for my Facebook Live. However, you guys want to paint on a piece of cardboard. You want to paint on the backside of your husband. You want to <laughs> kind of kinky. <laughs> if you guys want to paint on a, a wood board or some slate or whatever, play with different things because it's your world, okay? For these shows, I keep them simple. I keep them easy for you and you guys can paint on anything, okay? The biggest thing is it's about creating and jumping off that cliff and finding what makes you brings you joy and believing in yourself because everybody has an artist inside. I know that. You know that. So there you go. All right. Now who's ready to row off in the boat? That's right. Put Take a picture of it in your head.
<laughs> all right, you guys. I love you all. I've missed you like crazy. Okay. So the first thing that we are going to need to do with this boat, okay, we got a, quite a bit of colors, is the first color we're going to, I picked up, is orange. All right? So for our orange, what you guys are going to need, you're going to need about a teaspoon. Okay, about a teaspoon of that orange. All right. And next color we're going to need is some magenta. But if you guys want to use purple or you want to use a lighter pink, all right, I like this deep magenta for this particular painting. Okay. So we're going to need about a teaspoon of our magenta. And Lello. You guys are going to need some yellow because he is a very mellow fellow. And we're going to be making a sun. Okay? So for the yellow, you guys are going to need about a half a teaspoon. So what I like to call that is a <laughs> of yellow. Okay? <laughs> All right, half a teaspoon. Now, for the light blue, you guys are going to need about the same amount as the yellow, half a teaspoon. So what of light blue, okay? Your favorite light blue, happy go scuppy loppy. We love that. Now we're going to have a dark blue. That's going to be our watercolor. So you guys are going to need about a teaspoon and a half of that. All right, and I don't have a thing for that, but this is my stink blue. For some reason, whenever I use this blue, it stinks, but that's okay. That's, that's going to be my happy blue. All right, let me see if I can see more of your stuff on comments besides Biddy. Oh, look at that. You're all the way down there, you happy people. All four hags are there. Hello, Robin. Oh, my goodness, is Kenny painting? <laughs> I hope so. Kenny, get that brush in your hand. Good. Good, good. Betty's got Debbie, Jocelyn, Klukey. Hi, honey. You going to paint tomorrow? All right, girl. And Alicia Greenlaw, you're going to do it tomorrow. All right, all right. I'll let you. I'll let you. All right, good. And you guys, I'm working on something new, okay? In addition to working 27 days a week, I am working with a web designer to be able to to bring you guys all of these live shows online. And hello, Sarah McFarland Tweety, you little Tweety bird. I love that name. No, he's not painting tonight. Oh, that must mean my June is there. Hi, June. Kisses, baby. All right. And we're going to use a little bit of white. So you guys are going to need a teaspoon of that. And last color is the brown. Now, now, brown cow. So what I'm going to have you guys do is I'm going to have you. Oh, that was uh, that was definitely my paint thing. <laughs> oh, there she goes again. Okay. <laughs> Nothing. Why? All right. I'm going to have you do two piles of brown, a half a teaspoon each. So a and a okay? There we go. Now, I'm going to have you take a peek at my little plate here. We've got orange. What? We got what? That's okay. All right. I got to figure out how this camera works. We got light blue, yellow, yellow, brown, dark blue, orange, pink, white, Nikki White, fight, fight. Oh, look. Now you can see them all. Oh, it's a bonus. Okay. Hi, Melissa Long. No, June's not there either. Who's there? Who's the fourth person, Nancy Hulk? No, I don't know. All right. But anyways, you guys, guess what? I had a day off today, so I got some rest. You know what that means. You're in for it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you little pumpkin pies. So let us paint a boat. It's boat time, okay? So, the first thing that we're going to do with this boat, okay, is you guys are going to grab your big boy. Oh, I see. All right. Hi, Candy. Um, 
So, you're going to grab your big boy tonight. For some reason, I was driving back from Clifton the other day. And the only thing that kept going through my head was a theme song to Gilligan's Island from, like, when I was a kid. So, we are going to call the big boy tonight the SS Minnow. <laughs> I think of weird things when I'm driving. I'm trying to keep myself preoccupied. All right, so... What you're going to do with your SS Minnow tonight is you're going to dip it in the blue. And we are going to create our horizon line. Look at that. Boom, chakalaka. Okay. Now, this horizon line is going to be a little bit higher than the middle. Okay. A little bit higher than the middle. So I'm going to go a little bit higher up right here. Because you're going to have less sky than you do water. All right? Less sky than you do water. Now, tonight, because we are not doing the mountains in the background, your uh, horizon line does need to be relatively straight, okay? Just so you know, which mine is not. <laughs> and I don't even care. <laughs> All right, so there we go. And then what I'm going to have you do with your SS Minnow is you guys are going to take that SS Minnow and you are going to paint the entire bottom of your canvas with your blow. Okay, there we go. Here comes the water. Now, you guys are like, Nicole, why aren't we double dipping for the water? Well, I want you to add a lot of detail. So what we're going to do is we're going to paint this blue first, get a foundation coat, and then we're going to let it dry a little bit, and then we're going to work our motion in the ocean, babies. That's right. Now, a painting is never finished. Until you guys paint your top, your sides, and your bottom. So make sure that as you're going along, you're painting your top and your sides, but not your bottom. Because then you'll get a sticky bottom, and nobody likes that, right? So we're going to wait till the end to paint our bottom. Okay? There we go. Beautiful. So we just want a nice thin coat on here. We're not going cray cray. We're not adding a ton of paint. We just want a nice thin coat. Okay, and speaking of my Nancy Hag, yesterday we painted together and God bless her, we painted, <laughs> she picked a, well her sister Robin, who I absolutely adore, painted a, picked a painting that took us I don't know, I think it was like four hours or five hours. But anyways, it was gorgeous. And what a wonderful, wonderful challenge that was. And it came out beautiful. It was a red covered bridge. Oh, I like a good challenge. Okay, so there you go. All right, you guys are going to paint the bottom. We're not doing it fast. We're not doing it, you know. You're just going to get that paint on there. We're not even going to think about it. Just stroke it left to right, okay? Awesome. Now, once you guys get that done, what you're going to do is you're going to wash off your SS Minnow. Just sit right back and hear a tale, a tale of a fateful ship. <laughs> Imagine that repeating in your head about 5,000 times and then welcome to my world. <laughs> all right, you guys, so you're going to wash all the blue off and then you guys are going to take your paper towel. Dry off that big SS minnow. Make sure that you got all the blue off there. Dry it off so you don't get the dripsies. Nobody likes the dripsies. Okay. There we go. Now, 
next thing that we're going to do, you guys are going to take your big boy and you're going to come up here. You're going to double dip your SS Minnow this time. And this time you're going to double dip with your light blue and your white. Okay? Light blue and white. Light blue and white. Light blue and white. Light blue and white. Okay? And we're going to go across the top here. But what I'm going to have you guys do is you're going to use your brush like this. Can you guys see that? We're going to use it horizontally so we can get those two colors to blend together. Okay? We're using a light touch. We're just kissing our canvas gently with that brush. We're not beating it because it never did anything to us besides try to bring us joy. Okay, so you're gently kissing that canvas. And look what happens when you kiss the canvas. Those two colors mix together and they give you this soft, gentle sky. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful, right? And you guys are only going to go down about, eh, I would say a good, I don't know, two inches. Huh, Kenny? Two inches. Five hours. Yes, Nancy. Oh, I learned horizontal. Yes, I did, girl. Yes, horizontal. Okay. So there is that. Beautiful. All right. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to grab my fan, which is upstairs. And this is where you guys probably want to grab your hair dryer. Or if you're old school, which I usually am because I'm so like, I like to work out my flying squirrels. But we're going to give this sucker the flat doodle, okay? Now let me demonstrate the flat doodle for you. <laughs> Flying squirrel, pretty soon I'm going to take flight. You guys better watch out. <laughs> oh, good Lord, there she goes. <laughs> but what's important, okay, sometimes when we do a horizon line, you guys can see that you have a nice, deep, wet line right here. So you guys want to make sure that before we add the orange into that painting, that that line is completely dry, okay? So I'm going to go grab my fan real quick. You guys can flap doodle, grab your hair dryer. I'll be right back, okay? Here comes Marilyn Monroe. Oh, oh, my skirt's going out. <laughs> okay? And again, the goal of this is to dry that horizontal line. Dry that horizon line. Okay? Get that nice and dry because the last thing you want is your orange sky mixing in with your blue water. Makes a really ugly color. And we don't want that. We don't want that. No, no. All right. Who else is on here tonight? I see my Nancy Hoag. I see my Betty Cameron, my crazy Betty, Alicia Greenlaw. Damn, didn't get the light blue. Oh, <laughs> Betty. Um, okay, Betty. So what you need to do, honey, 
is for your light blue, you're going to take the blue that you got and you're going to mix it in with white and you're going to make a light blue that you absolutely love, okay? All right, that will make a light blue that will work perfectly because the light blue really isn't the focal point of this painting. It's very minimal on the top of that sky. Okay. All right. All right, you guys, say hi. All right, let's look at this. Now, mine is still a little wet. Like I said, the last thing you want to do is... Um, is uh all right let me see if i can find you guys on facebook how you like that no oh, you like that all right hmm all right artful night's main how do you guys even know how to get on me <laughs> Yeah. Oh, there I am. All right. All right. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. All right. Oh, I lose my music though when I do that. I don't want to do that. Okay. So what we are doing is, did it done? Connie Foster. Hi, honey. How you do? How you do, gorgeous lady? You're going to paint later in the week? That's okay. All right. So that transition line looks like it's dry now. How about for you guys? Hope so. All right. So what we're going to do next is we're going to grab our SS Minnow again. All right. We're going to grab that little SS Minnow. And you guys are going to wipe it off so you don't get the dripsies. And you want to make sure that there's no blue in it. Because blue and orange make caca. And we want no caca. Okay. All right. There's my paper towel. Now I'm set up for the champion. Set up like a paint superstar. Okay. So we've wiped off our SS Minnow. And now what you guys are going to do is you're going to take that yellow on your SS Minnow and very carefully you are going to go along that ridge line of your sky. Okay? There we go. Nice. There we go. And that way you have a stopping point so you know how far you can go. Okay? There we go, we've got that orange on our horizon. And what I'm gonna have you guys do next is you're going to grab a little bit of orange on your SS Minnow and maybe a little bit of yellow on the back side. Okay, so orange and yellow. And we're gonna come in, we're using our brush like this again, okay? Very light touch and we're stroking in the next layer of our sky. Look at that. Oof. Oof. Beautiful. Now, if you guys want to, maybe you don't really like that really deep orangey look in your painting. Okay? And that's all right. Not everybody does. Okay? Maybe that orange is a little too much for you. So, what I'm going to have you do I'm not able to paint tonight. Hello, Joyce Thompson. I've never seen you before. Hi, honey. Um, yes, this video will be up for a week, my dear. Okay? So, I'm going to have you take a little white. Let's work a little white in there. Okay? See what that does. And again, you guys are using a very, very light touch on this. Okay? We're kissing the canvas or we're using it like a feather. We're using our SS Minnow like a light feather and we're working this paint into here. See that? Ooh, I like it. Okay, that will lighten up your orange quite a bit. And if it's not light enough for you yet, what you can do 
add a little white in there, a little more white. Work that into the sky. That'll tone down that orange even more. And it'll start to look like a little creamsicle in the sky. Right? I don't know about you guys. I like a good creamsicle. Okay? And the biggest thing that you want to do, the reason I have you kiss this canvas is because you want all of those colors to work together to create a level of variance in that sky. Does that make sense? You don't want just a straight up orange sky, all right? You want to add different levels of light. There we go. Look at that. Boom. Bam. See that? Yeah, now that's looking the way I want it to look. Okay, I'm just going to work along that transition line again a little bit. All right, beautiful. Now, this is a choice, okay? Hold on one sec. If you guys like more of an orange sky, okay, you're going to bring the orange up even further. If you like more of this pink in your sky, you're going to stop right where you're at, okay? This painting, the primary color is that pink that I worked into the top. But again, it's about personal choice. Art is what makes your heart happy. So if you want more of a pink sky, use less orange, okay? You want more of an orange sky, bring it up a little bit further and use less pink, okay? All right. Okay, now, once we get that orange in there, what I'm going to have you guys do next, you're going to wash off that SS Minnow. Ooh, we're giving it a bath. Hopefully we won't poke a hole in it so they get stranded on Gilligan's Island. <laughs> when you think about the concept, it was pretty important. What it could have been that day. They didn't have cell phones back then. So, that coconut phones. You guys remember that? <laughs> I used to talk about the coconut. <laughs> okay. Now, you guys are going to wash this off. Make sure you get all of the orange off it. We want all that orange gone, gone, gone. Dry it off so you don't get the dripsies. And then, what I'm going to have you guys do is... Same technique that we just did in the sky with the red and with the white and the orange and the yellow. Okay, you're gonna take your big, big boy, your SS minnow. One side of him is going to be dark blue. The other side of your SS minnow is going to be white. Okay. And what we're going to do is very gently, we're following the horizon line, okay? You guys aren't doing this. You're not doing this. Whenever you're painting in that light glistening off the sun, you want to make sure you keep that brush following the horizon line. Hello, Mrs. Robinson. Hi, baby. Cool, cool, cool. Good to see you, darling. That's all right, honey. You can do it another night, okay? And what I'm going to have you guys do, white side up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to let, Jocelyn Cookie, I hear you, girl. I wouldn't mind being on an island where they didn't have the COVID either. Okay, make sure you get right up to that transition line with both those colors. Okay, and then you're going to double dip again. And very gently, we're going to work these two colors into the water. And we're going to create motion in our ocean. Look at that. And how I'm doing this is I'm putting a little bit of white on one side, a little bit of dark blue on the other. And very gently, I am working my brush this way. Okay? That's how you do it. That's how we're going to create motion in this ocean. All right? So here we go again. Need a little more white on there. Using my tip. Boom. Very gentle touches. And I am just feathering in these two colors into the ocean. 
All right. Look at that. Ooh. There we go. That's some white. Ooh, that's some white. Look at that. I think I originally painted this painting probably about, I don't know, two years ago or something. I don't know. So anyways, it's good to have learned a few things since then to make this painting a little more beautiful for you guys. Huh? We all are learning. Beautiful. Look at that. Okay. And I'm just going to keep going on this process until I get all the way down to the bottom. Just like this. Nice gentle touches. And make sure, you guys, that the head of your SS minnow, okay, the tap, this right here, stays nice and flat. If you start pushing really hard, and you then what happens is the tip will start to, and as it, you're going to get bigger waves in your water, okay? So you guys want nice, gentle touches, all right? Basically, you're just barely touching that canvas with the brush, all right? There we go. Look at that. Gorgeous. Oh, yay. Look at that. I gave it a little in there. Why? Because I was feeling like it was. I like having a little white in there sometimes, a little white cap, all right? So lots of motion in my ocean. That makes for a good boat ride, huh? I mean, not in the canoe, but sometimes. All right, there we go. Beautiful, you guys. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna work it down to the bottom, just like this. Okay, we're working and we're working. All right, look at that. Boom, chakalaka. Hmm. Okay, and we're going right down to the very bitty bottom. Because we don't know necessarily where our canoe is going to end up. So we want to make sure we got consistency in our motion. Look at that. <laughs> Feel free to enjoy the Irish music. Oh, I saw Melissa Long was on there, honey. If I didn't say hi to you, hello, Melissa Long. <laughs> okay, now you guys may want more motion in your ocean and you may want less. And that's okay. If you want less, just bring a little blue in there, okay, and take some of that motion out. But the, the best thing that you can do is not make patterns. I'm bringing mine back in. But I just showed you real quick how to take some out if you need to. See, I like lots of motion. Mm, give it to me. The more the better. All right. See that? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Now, what we're going to do next, I'm assuming, you guys, that your light blue is dry and your orange is dry. So now we're ready to bring that third level of color into that sky. We're ready to make that pink jump in there and go, bah! okay? So what you guys are going to do next, you're going to take your SS minnow, and you are going to wash them off in the bath water. All right, plug that hole right in your ship. I said ship. <laughs> hmm, naughty little mixes out there. Yeah, I know, I see you. I don't, but I wish I could. <laughs> okay, we're wiping off the brush so you don't get the dripsies. And here we go. So, you guys can do this, okay? You can do that straight up pink, but I am going to take a little pink and a little white, 
on my SS Minnow just like this. And again, I'm using the same process with this brush. So by the end of today, you'll have mastered the technique. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work this pink into my sky. Now, what I want you guys to notice, okay, one thing I can't stand is, and you know what, a lot of people do it because they're just learning, okay? When they do that sky, what they do is they do one color, then the next color. And if you guys have worked with me in person, what I call that is the lifesaver effect. Because you know how if you open up a package of Lifesavers, the fruity flavor kind, you've got one color, then the next color. But the sky doesn't work like that. The sky is light. And light doesn't follow those rules like this. Our brain tells us to do this because a lot of folks are kind of OCD and they're very structured. And their brain says, well, one color, two color, three color. But it's not supposed to work like that. The colors are supposed to work together and sing in harmony, okay? And you're like, Nicole, what are you talking about? Well, I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm gonna work this color in here, and I'm gonna work it in below the transition line. Look at this. So I am not, I don't have a straight line of pink, do I? My pink is working together. It's mating with the orange, okay? And they're working together to make a beautiful sky. There's no line where one color starts and the other one stops. And that's all I'm talking about. Okay, and I'm going to work some more pink in here. And again, if you like a lighter pink, add more white in there. If you like a darker pink, you're going to use that full-on magenta. Ooh or whatever pink you have. You may have a very pale pink, and that's exciting too, okay? We're gonna go up on this side, look at that. I'm working my pink right into my blue, see that? Ah, that makes sense, doesn't it? I'm working my pink right up into my blue, so those two colors, whoops, I think I got a little blue in my pink, that's all right, okay? And then maybe in the center, I'll use full on pink. Why not? Right? It's my world. Maybe I'll use a nice deep pink in the center. Okay? The best thing you can do when you're working with light is play with it. You know? When you're working with light, you want to play with those colors. Mix them up a little. Just like, you know, that whole awful word for some people, that random word. Okay, can you see that? I'm bringing that pink down into the orange. Whoops, I just grabbed orange. Boo boo. <laughs> okay, let's wipe that off. A <laughs> little bit of white and a little bit of pink on my brush. Okay, working it down into the orange. There we go. And just lightly brushing it. Okay, there we go. Look at that. All right, and what that also does, I'm going to grab a little bit more white because what I want to do is I want to add a little bit of fullness in that pink. Okay, and what I mean fullness is like 3D sky popping out at you a little bit. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of that white and work it into different areas. See that? So I can fill up that sky. See that? Do you see how that makes that sky look a little more full? Those clouds and that, okay? Add a little more white over here, boom. Yeah. All right, just in certain areas, pop it out. All right, here we go. The other thing you don't want is a stiff sky. You want that sky to have a little boba in it, a little juice. You know what I'm saying? A little precipitation, moisture, girth. All right, 
And there you go. Look at that sky, you guys. All right, now you play with it. You make it your own. If you want more orange, don't add the orange now. Wait for your pink to dry. But work with those colors, okay, so that they're not just flat. And make sure that you bring some pink into your blue, okay? Bring some pink into your orange, all right? Because they want to work together. They're mating, all right, to make one. <laughs> and I hope that makes sense. All right. Now you guys are gonna wash off your SS Minnow. Wash it off, give it a bath, because we're gonna grab a new brush, okay? And what I'm gonna have you guys do next is you're gonna grab your medium brush. Where you at, medium brush? Oh, there you go. Okay, now your medium brush is gonna be different than my medium brush, and if you love it, use it. If you don't, buy a new one, but don't spend a ton of money. Get a multi-pack and find one that works for you. All right, <laughs> that's my tip of the day. <laughs> okay, now the next thing that we are going to do is I'm gonna take my paint water off the edge because I know myself, and that paint water would crash on the floor, just like the SS Minnow did on the island. Okay, so what you're gonna do next is you're gonna grab a little white. Now, if it's easier for you guys to do this with a little brush, do it. You know, hell with it. I'm gonna do it with a little brush. Okay, I'll do it with a little brush. No need to test in your limits, all right. So we're using our tiny detail brush, and I'm gonna call this my ginger. <laughs> Why? Because she was the hot chick on the island. All right, ginger. <laughs> I like Marianne too though, Marianne was brilliant. She was brilliant, okay. Now, what you guys are gonna do next is you're going to carve in your sunrise or sunset, depending on how you're looking at this picture. And how we do that is you're gonna take this brush. Now remember this, you can always make your sun bigger, but you can never make it smaller. So anytime you're doing a sun or you're doing a moon, okay, start small and make it bigger. Because trust me, it always grows when you're doing a circle. <laughs> it's just the way it is. All right, so you guys are going to off to the this side, which I think is the, all right, I'm going to figure this out, left. So the sun is going to sit to the left side, the sunrise, okay? And what you're going to do is you start off with a line, and then you guys are going to do a half circle. Why? Because that sun is a rising or setting, depending on how you're looking at it. Okay? So there you go. And yes, we are starting this off in white. Yes, we will be bringing the yellow in, but if you tried to use yellow on this orange, it wouldn't show up. So we're going to start off with white first. Okay? And once you get that sun the size you want, you are going to paint it in. Look at that. Yeehaw! Look at that beautiful. Oh, yeah. Look at me, sun. Okay. Beautiful, look at that, okay? And when you guys have that little half egg in there, you've got that sun setting or rising, depending on how you look at it, guess what? You guys successfully made it to halftime. <sighs> okay? You guys can make your bladder bladder if you need to. Go grab another drink. Go grab a sweet snack. Sweet snack. And I will see you guys in five minutes. Nancy Ho, five minutes, okay?
See you in a bit.
Ian Fox! How you do? I think I even gave you guys an extra minute. How you like that? That never happens, does it? <laughs> All right. So, um, oh, my halftime speech. Hold on. Okay. So, one thing that makes me wicked happy, you guys have heard this before, okay, um, is if you guys, when you're all finished with your artwork, you send me a picture of your, your finished piece so I can put it on my Artful Nights main Facebook page, okay, so I can share your beautiful artwork with the world, and I get to see it myself because that brings me a tremendous amount of joy. So if you guys could, when you're all done, if you could send those to either email them to me, to uh, my artfulnightsmain at gmail.com, or if you like, you can um, send them to me on my Facebook page, Artful Nights Main, in a message. And I love it. I read them, I send you guys a message, I post something to everybody. Um, so please do that, all right? Bring me joy, bring me joy. I can't see you in person. I know you're out there. <laughs> and the other thing is, uh, next Sunday, you guys are probably wondering what we're doing next Sunday. So this is the painting that I've chosen for next Sunday. I hope you guys like it. I'm kind of moving into the fall direction. We're using fall colors now. Um, and that's the way I'm moving. But this is a beautiful painting and it uses some fun techniques. So this will be next Sunday at seven o'clock. Do you guys like it? If you do, chime in and say yeah, okay? And I'm so organized tonight that not only am I gonna show you next Sunday's painting, but I'm gonna show you the painting after that, okay? So this is next Sunday, seven o'clock. I vow to you that I will not Change the date on you. It will be Sunday. I've got nothing in my book. I've already looked, okay? And the following Sunday, what we're going to be doing, so two weeks from today, we're going to be doing this painting. And this is a fun one, all right? It's fun. It's daisies. It's working and creating a tree, creating wood, putting a couple of things together, right? So anyways, that's going to be in two weeks. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to kind of follow with the seasons, all right? So the summertime, we do a lot of summer stuff. In the fall, we move into pumpkins and trucks and um, a lot of my live shows that are coming up, which I, those are pretty down to a minimal. We're doing a lot of wood pallets with the red truck and wood pallets with the blue truck. Happy fall, y'all. You love that one too? Good. I love it, Nancy. Thank you. Okay, so two weeks from today, we're doing the beautiful daisy in the dark woods, and next week we're doing this little masterpiece. Okay? And those will be posted tomorrow on my Facebook page, okay? So like them, share them, spread them around to your friends, okay? And uh, and we'll get the word out there. Oh, Ray Jean, I didn't even know you were on here, honey. Hello. Hi. Ray Jean lives up in the booth. And we're going to the boo in two weekends to do a party for her. So I'm pretty excited about that. Can't wait for four wheel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Who is ready to work on the boat? I know I am. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to have you guys do is everybody's going to grab their medium brush. All right, this little bugger right here. And everybody has a different size medium brush. That's okay. We're going to dry it off on our paper towel so we don't get the dripsies. Oh, did I move that? I think I did. All right. So what we're going to do next is we're going to be carving out our boat. Yes, sir. We're going to be carving out our canoe. So I will show you guys the canoe one last time. So that you can see what it looks like okay this is it and then don't you worry i'm gonna walk you through it easy peasy pumpkin pie okay so the first thing that you guys are gonna do is on your paint plate i made you do two piles of brown 
Okay, we got two piles of brown. And I did go with a very commercial light brown on this one um, because I figured that's what most people have. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab a scoop of black. And what you're gonna do with that black is you're gonna add it to one pile of brown, okay? Because you want a nice, deep, mochalicious brown. So you want this to be the equivalent of like a dark chocolate espresso bean, okay? That's gonna be the outside color of your boat, all right? So mix that in, so now you've got one, there we go, look at this. All right, see my black? And see this? I don't know if you're getting a good visual, but this is my mochalicious brown. Let me bring it in the light, okay? So it looks like a dark espresso color. All right, that's gonna be the outside of our boat. Now, what I'm gonna have you do next is we're gonna make three browns, okay? So take your other pile of brown, that's your, your, um, hmm, I got a lot of room on my plate. Take your other pile of brown and divide it in half, okay? So you've got that dark espresso brown in one pile, and then you've got your other brown, the regular brown, divided in half, okay? And what you're going to do next is you're gonna add just a tiny dot, a tiny dot of black to one pile of brown. So you want it just one hue darker, but you want it lighter than your espresso brown. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by this, okay? And when you get that second brown in there, okay, so now I have a darkest brown right here. I have a brown that I added just a little bit of black to. I'm going to add a little more. I want it a tiny bit darker. And then I have my regular brown, okay? Dark, medium, and light. In this medium brown, I'm going to grab a little bit of pink and I'm going to add a little bit of pink to that medium brown just to give it a different hue, okay? So a little bit of pink to that medium brown just to give it a different hue, okay? You like pink? Normally I'd use red, but we're not using red tonight. So we're going to give that a nice different hue. See that? There we go, wash off my brush. And then in my regular brown, my last pile of brown, I'm gonna grab some yellow and I'm gonna mix that in with my lightest brown. Can you guys see that? So now I have three browns. I have got a brown that's very dark. I've got a brown that's medium dark with a little pinkish hue to it. Maybe I'll add a little black to that one, make it a little darker. And then I have my lightest brown. Now that's too much. All right, well that didn't work. There, hold on. Add a little white. And then I have my lightest brown, which has a little bit of a yellow hue to it, okay? So basically what you're doing is you're creating three different browns, all right? There we go. Okay, so we've got three browns right here. Beautiful. All right, see that? A dark, a medium, and a light. There we go. All right, I'm back, okay. Now, what we're gonna do next is you guys are gonna grab your little brush. I'm gonna turn off my fan so my fan doesn't go flying. My plate doesn't go flying like a flying saucer across my kitchen. <laughs> we don't want that. 
All right, now you're gonna grab your little brush, your teeny weeny, your ginger. Okay, dry her off. And to do the outline of this boat, you are gonna use the darkest brown. Okay, you're gonna use that dark espresso brown that we were talking about, that we made. Okay, the first brown that we made. And what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna start right down here. And we are gonna keep it so simple for you guys. We're gonna bring it up and you're gonna bring it up to a point just like this. Okay. Start out, we're going relatively straight, and then we're gonna bring it up with a little curve. Okay, can you guys see that? I'm gonna straighten it out so you've got that straight line, okay? And then you've got just a little bit of a curve, okay? Now I'm gonna grab that dark brown again the darkest brown, and I'm gonna come down like this. Okay, you're gonna go from the tip of that point down like this. Okay. Okay, there we go, and that is the outline design of our boat, okay? That's the entire boat, the entire outline of the boat. Look at that. Easy peasy pumpkin pie, okay? I'm gonna keep that right there so you guys can see it and get your boat carved out. All right, and see where that positions on your canvas. You guys can hear the song, but it's all crazy. All right, can you see that? And I'm gonna keep it there for like two seconds. This is very hard because I am not moving. <laughs> and I really have to concentrate not to move. <laughs> okay, beautiful. All right, now, what you guys are gonna do next Again, you're going to take that dark brown, the mochalicious brown, and we're gonna put in another line, okay? And this line is gonna come down. Hold on one second. Down here. Rip. Down here. Okay. Down here, let me get that all carved out and then I will show you guys what it looks like. Okay? There you go. Okay, there is your second line. Goes right down the middle. That's gonna be the outside of your boat, okay? That's gonna be the rims of your boat. So there you go, I'm gonna stop moving so you guys can see it. All right, oh, I'm freezing. <laughs> I'm gonna just pretend like my video froze. And again, you guys, at any point during this video, okay, you are completely able to pause me. And just don't pause me looking like a weirdo, okay? And you guys are able to use that rewind feature if you need to, okay? So there we go. There's number two. Now, what I am going to do next, you guys, is... I'm going to add another line, okay? And this line is going to go from here, almost the tip of the boat, down to here. Okay? 
Look at that. Boom. Another line from there to there. All right. Look at that. Can you guys see that line right there? Okay. So the first line we did was this one up here. The second line we did was this guy right here. We curved around the boat. The third line we did was right here. Roop. And the fourth line we did, the last line was this line right there. And you can see it doesn't start right at the tip of that boat. It does not. No, it does not. It starts a little bit from the tip and it works its way down to the end. Okay? All right, you got this. I know you do at home. Okay, now what we're going to do next, okay, is you're going to grab your medium brush. I don't think we've used that guy yet. And we're going to call this guy Gilligan. <laughs> Why? Because we love our little buddy. Okay, we got Gilligan right here. And three weeks we're country bound. That is right. You know it, Regina. I can't wait. Okay, and we're going to use this medium brush. The first color that we are going to use is we are going to use that dark cocalicious brown that we made. The first one that we made, the darkest brown. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to paint in this section of my bow. Okay, the first, the biggest section of that bow. That's the outside of your bow. All right. I think you're gonna test me with this painting, lady. Oh, you got this, Jocelyn. Don't you worry, girl. We're doing it slow and easy for you, honey girl. No worries. <laughs> so basically, we've got, we take our brown, we divide it into three shades. A dark shade, a medium shade, and a light shade. And right now, we're just using the darkest shade to paint the outside of your boat. Okay? There we go. Okay. Now that's the first thing we're going to do. The next thing we're going to do, you're going to wash off your medium brush. And you are going to use your medium shade of brown. And that was the one that I had you add a little pink to. Okay, your medium shade of brown. All right, so that's our medium shade. Make sure it's one hue. And this shade of brown is gonna go right in here. Okay, right in the tops little section. All right, there's my medium shade of brown. Okay, easy peasy Japanesey. That's my medium brown. So I have a dark brown here, and then I have my medium brown. Okay, got this, you guys. All right, now we're gonna wash off Gilligan again because he's dirty. He's been playing in the sandbox with Skipper. Gilligan, what's going on, dude? <laughs> I feel bad for anybody that's young watching this, like, who's Gilligan? <laughs> Shame on you. Go on YouTube. <laughs> okay, now, last thing we're going to do, we are going to take the lightest brown that we made. You remember that was the brown that we added the yellow to? The lightest shade of brown. And you guys are going to come in here and you're gonna paint in this middle section. 
All right, see this? The middle section. This is the floor of your boat. Okay? And your middle section. Oh, yeah. There we go. Boom. Mmm, smells a little bit like coffee. <laughs> Maybe I'm imagining it smells like coffee. Okay. There you go, guys. Look at that. You got this. Okay. Boom. Dark. Light. Medium. Dark. Light. Medium. Okay? You're going to paint those three in just like that. And once you get that done, we're going to move on from our boat because we're going to wait for that to dry before we add any more of the fine details. Okay? I'm going to come in here, though, add a little bit more of this darkness right here. I want to see less of the floor and more of the rim. Okay? There you go. Okay? That's what we have for now. Now, what we're going to do next is you guys are going to wash off your Gilly Gone, your medium brush, wash them off in the bath water. Okay, are there any questions about that? If so, ask them now. Nope, nope, nope. All right. Washing off Gilgit. You're going to dry them off so you don't get the dripsies. Okay. Now, ooh, ooh, ah! <laughs> All right, pretend like that's not happening. <laughs> I'm telling you, only when you're live, right? <laughs> it happens. All right, there we go. When you go to flush your hair, you grab your light. <laughs> okay, so the next thing you guys are going to do is you're going to grab that painting. We're going to come back in, and you guys are going to grab some yellow on your medium or your small brush. And you're going to come back into the sunshine, and you're going to bring that yellow right into the sun. Okay, we're going to lighten it up, because guess what? Here comes the sun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. That's right. All right, so we're going to repaint that sun. We're going to bring it back with a little yellow. Now, my yellow is very lemony, okay? And I think it's almost too lemony for this sunshine. So, what I'm going to do is once I get that yellow in there, I am going to add a little bit of white and blend that in, okay? Now, you may like that full-on yellow sun, and if you do, perfect. You keep it that way. But I'm just going to brush in a little bit of white, tone it down just a tiny bit. There we go. Right? There. And there's your sun. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful poking on the horizon, isn't it? Oh, I love you, sunshine. Okay. Now, what we're going to do next, you take that little brush. You're going to put a little white on it and a little bit of yellow on it. Okay, we're double dipping it, and you're just going to brush in just a few of these, okay? Sunlight out into the sky, look at that. Okay, a couple of these wispies up here, all right? Add a little white in it if you'd like, okay? There we go. There. And then... Add that yellow back into your sun so it doesn't look like you took that sun away. Add a little white. Beow, beow. Okay. 
Yeah, beautiful. Okay, now our sunshine's done. Okay, gorgeous. Now, what you guys are gonna do next is I'm gonna have you grab your medium brush, this guy right here, and we're gonna dry him off and we're gonna squeeze him out just like this. Squeeze him out. You're gonna squish Gilligan's head, squish his head just like this, okay? Squish him, all right? And what you guys are gonna do is we're gonna create this little grove of trees in the background. So let me show you up close. They don't look that good, do they? Up close, they never do. So these trees are easy, they're simple, they're just tappity tappity tap, okay? So you guys are gonna come in, you're gonna take that little medium brush, I always, whenever I'm doing trees, I like to tap out a few trunks so I can see exactly where that tree's gonna go. Okay, see that? That's my first tree. And then I'm gonna take that medium brush and just tap it along like this. I'm not thinking. I'm just tapping out the idea of a tree. Okay? There we go. Nothing too difficult. Nothing too, you know, see that? Okay, just the idea of a tree and I'm coming right down to the horizon line as close as I can get. Then next thing, I'm gonna grab my brush and I'm gonna bring another tree right next to his friend but this time it's gonna be a little bit bigger Boom, 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 boom. Not thinking, just tapping. Okay, very rustic, very raw, very, you know, don't worry about these trees, okay? There we go, and I'm gonna get as close as I can to that horizon line. There we go. Okay, see that one? There's tree number two, okay? And again, you guys, don't overthink these, okay? You're just tapping out something that looks similar to the shape of a tree, okay? They're very rustic, they're way off in the background. Don't, don't overthink it or, ooh, ooh, you know what I mean? Because it's gonna look great from a distance, okay? Here we go, here's another one. This guy's gonna be a little taller. Look at him. Here we go, tapping him out, boom, boom, boom. Not thinking. I like that, okay? Getting him and as close as I can to his tree friend. Okay. There we go, tap, tap, tapping that tree right out. Not thinking, just poking, okay? Here's number three. All right, see them up close? They don't even look good. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. The one thing is, though, you don't want to see that, that, that line that you did in the beginning. You don't want to see that. Okay. And here we go. Going to come over here. All right. This is going to be my tallest tree. Go tap him in, tappy, 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 not thinking, squishing that brush in all different directions. Okay, way far off in the distance. Gilligan is hoping that, Gilligan is hoping he can get to that tree, but he never will, because he's never going to leave the island. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Here's another one. Here's another tree, big old messy tree, okay? Now you guys add as few or as less as you want to. You guys wanna add another little bitty guy on the end, you can do that. Boop, 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 boop. look at him, oh yeah. 
Yeah, maybe I'll be taller than the one next to him. Why? Just because I feel like it. Okay. Here we go. There's another one. All right. Look at that. Okay. So there's my trees. Now, what I'm going to have you guys do next, and this is fun, okay? Because we're going to do a reflection of those trees in the water, okay? So, uh, maybe we can use our little brush for this. Let's grab little ginger. All right? And, hold on, I need a little sip of my cabbage. Because what I want you guys to remember is that we're doing a reflection. And that means that the water is breaking up that tree. So it's not, a, it's not the same exact tree that you did up here. You're doing it with lines, okay? Because you're going in the water and the water's doing this. So you're not seeing every section of that tree. Okay, I always find that when I do reflections, I flip my canvas upside down because what I'm doing is I'm recreating this in the water. So it's easier for me to flip my canvas, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna recreate this tree in the water, okay? And all I'm doing is I'm wiggling this brush, okay? So it's not exactly the same, it's not perfect, but it's some idea that it looks like that tree. Okay, see that? And all I did was just simply wiggle that little brush around so that I kind of got a reflection of that tree in the water. And I'm gonna bring this black down a little more, okay? There we go. Look at that. That is my first one. Okay. Now do the same thing. Grab your little brush. We're going to go underneath this guy. Do the same thing. All I'm doing is I'm wiggling out a tree that looks kind of like the tree above it, but it's in pieces and in sections, right? Not as dominant because that water is breaking up the reflection, isn't it? All right, there's number two. Okay. Cool technique, isn't it? A little bit. All right, now, same thing. We're gonna continue, we're gonna do the same thing for each tree until, there we go, we're gonna do the same thing until we have the reflection of each one of those trees in the water. Okay, see that? And look at it up close, okay? Basically, I'm just making a rough sketch of that tree upside down in the water, okay? We're gonna do a little one of this guy because it's just a tiny little tree. See that? Okay, here we go. And now the last one, my added tree. Because I didn't want trees that went in a perfectly straight. I like to mess things up a little bit, put a medium tree on the head, not a little tree. Okay, there's the last one. All right. Then you flip your canvas upside down and look at that. Beautiful, there's your tree reflection. How do you like it? Nice, huh? Okay, just a simple, easy way to wiggle out some trees, a reflection in that water. Okay, there we go, no biggie. All right, if you've got a little bit too much orange, go in there and tap it out a little bit. You don't wanna see too much through those trees. Here we go. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to add some color into the water, some reflections from the sky. Okay. So we've got some yellow reflecting, yellow and orange. 
You guys can add some pink reflections. I didn't in this one, but you can add some pink reflections as well, okay? And how we're going to do that is I'm going to have you guys grab your SS Minnow. Grab that big guy. Grab that big kahuna. Right? Sit right down and hear a tail. A tail of my SS Minnow. All right? Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to have you take a little bit of orange on the tip of that brush, okay, just the very tip, and we're gonna lightly pack in some color into that water. So because some we've got a little bit of yellow in that orange too, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of yellow on that brush. So I've got yellow and orange, and I'm gonna come in my water, and I'm following the horizon line, okay? We're not doing this, we're not doing that, no diagonals. All of these light reflections go straight. Okay, so here we go. Okay, there we go. My next one, totally random. I'm gonna come in here. Oh, tap in a little orange. See that? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> that was a funny noise. Ooh. Like a woodsy owl. All right, I'm gonna grab a little yellow and orange, tap it in here, just nice gentle touches. Okay, here we go, come up here. Okay, some of them are gonna be short, some of them are gonna be long. It's just basic light reflection coming off that sky into the water, okay? Gotta wash off my brush. Okay, I'm gonna go with straight up orange this time. Add a few of those. Okay. See that? Do you see how imperfect that is? Make that noise, it comes out better. <laughs> okay, wipe off your brush. Add some little yellow reflection in here. Look at this. Yeah, I don't like how it greens, so add a little orange on top. Okay. And then I'm going to grab some white. Add a few white caps in there. Look, oh, look at that. Okay, we're gonna break it up. We're gonna add a few white thing reflections in there. Okay. There we go. Ooh, there's that. Add some down here. Yellow reflections, a little bit of white. Okay, just little spots of light in this painting that break up that water. Okay, and if you would like, you can add some pink reflections, okay? All right, now the yellow and the white, I mean the yellow and the orange are the closest to the water. So that's why primarily we have yellow and orange in the water, but if you'd like to add a little pink, okay, I would grab a little bit of pink on your brush, add it down on this side, okay? A little down there, a little down there, farther away, just a little bit, okay? Not big, long touches, just a little bit of light reflection. Boom, 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 I'm barely touching, okay? Okay, and there you go. Beautiful. Got a little white on top of that pink. There, why not? our world okay see that nice huh yeah beautiful now that's a reflection isn't it okay don't mix pink and orange all right I see one spot where I feel like I need a little reflection right over here boom ba -ba -dum, ba -da -dum, ba -da -dum, ba -ba -ba. okay and there we go there's our reflection
Ooh, pretty. Okay, now you guys are ready for the final steps. Yes, you are. Okay, now you guys have a choice. You can use your medium brush for this, or you can use your little guy. All right, you either use your ginger or you use your gilligan. Okay? At this point, your boat should be pretty dry. It should be 100% dry. Okay? What you're going to do is you're going to double dip. All right? You're going to add some white. And you're going to add some yellow on your medium brush. White and yellow. Okay? And we're going to start right at the tip. All right, right at the tip of this bolt, you're going to brush that in, look at that, right along that outer edge, just like this. Boom, chakalaka. Okay, there's my first wipe. White and yellow. And, you know what? Take some white, yellow, and a little bit of that light brown and mix them together on your paint plate. White, yellow, and a tiny bit of that light brown. Okay? It should look like a banana brown. All right? So let me show you. There you go white white yellow and a little bit of brown this color right here see this and it is right there see that there you go okay and what you're going to do with that is you're going to use that for the outer edge of the rim of that boat so can you see that we've already done our first swipe so you guys know where it goes okay And I'm just going to put a little bit more pressure on that brush so that I can fatten up that outer edge of my boat. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you guys, there's your first edge. Yes, sirree. Okay, there you go. That's the outer rim. Now I'm going to take some more of that banana, yellow, orange, brown mixture I just made. Not orange, I'm sorry. Yellow, brown, and white. And I'm going to put in my second rim. Okay, this is my second rim. A little bit of pressure, a little bit of pressure. Okay, that's where your second rim goes. It goes right on that transition line between your dark brown and your light brown. Okay. You want to make sure that's a nice solid line because that's the outer rim of that boat. All right. Don't want to lose you. And there we go. Boom. And look at that. There is the second rim of your boat. See that? That's the outer edge of that boat. Can you see how it's starting to get nice and 3D? How your canoe is coming together, right? Oh, this is the fun part. Okay. Now, what I am going to have you guys do next is you're going to take your medium or your small brush, whatever you guys feel comfortable with. You're gonna add a little bit of yellow to that brown yellow banana mix you just made. 
okay? You want it just one hue lighter than your rims, okay? Than these rims, all right? Now, each one of these seats, okay, each one of these lines is going to go straight up and down, just like this, straight up and down, all right? So you're not going to slant them. You're going to go straight up and down, okay? So here we go. We've got one right here. One. There's your first seat. Can you guys see that? Seat number one. Okay. And we're going to come in and we're going to do seat number two right here, which is going to be the smallest seat. See that? There's number two. And now I'm going to do my longest seat. No, I never go in order. <laughs> okay? And there we go. Here's my longest seat. Okay, there's my longest seat. One, two, three. Can you guys see that? Beautiful. Okay. Now, what you guys are going to do next, you've got your seats in that canoe, right? You're almost ready to take off, aren't you? Okay. You're going to grab your tiniest brush. You're going to grab the darkest brown, the one that we used on right here, this right here, okay? And you're going to make sure that you put a tiny line here on the edge of that seat, here on the edge of that seat, and here on the edge of that seat. So right on the top, can you see that? One, two, three. And then you're going to do the same thing with the darkest brown on the bottom, on the other side of the seat. So this is right between the seat and the rim. Okay, dark brown there, dark brown there, and dark brown there. There you go. Look at that, you guys. Guess what you did? You painted a beautiful canoe, but we're not done yet. Psych! <laughs> because what we have to do is we have to add the boat lines. Can you guys see the boat lines? Yeah, we gotta add those boat lines. So, what you're gonna do is you're going to take that darkest brown. We're going to start right at the tip of the boat, okay? Right at the very tip, and you're going to bring a line down. Let me see if that goes to the bottom. No, nope, it doesn't. Okay? So we're going to bring a line down, and it's just going to stop in that water, just like this. All right? Not all the way down to the bottom. Boom. Look at that. Okay. And then we're going to add another one. Hey there, stopping by. Oh, thank you, honey. I love it. <laughs> thank you, Kelly. Okay. And now we're going to add a second line coming again off the tip of that boat. All right. It's going to go in that direction. You guys are going to make sure that you fill it in. You got a nice sturdy line. Okay. And it's not going all the way to the bottom. Stomps right there. And you're going to clean off that teeny weeny brush. Clean her off. Dry her off. You're going to grab a little bit of your dark blue. 
okay on that teeny brush a little bit of dark blue and we're just going to add a little bit of that dark blue around the edge of the bottom of that line like this see that there we go awesome now the last thing for this awesome bow is you guys are going to put some seabirds in the sky, okay? And if you look here, all right, you can see these simple seabirds. They're just like those little V's that you guys used to do when you were in the second grade, the V-bird, seabirds, okay? We're keeping it simple. So I'm going to add... A seabird here, a V-bird seabird. That's a big one, okay? That's my big seabird right there. Add a little tiny one in the middle. Phew, phew, V-bird seabird. And then I'm gonna add the tiniest seabird right over here. Okay? And guess what, you guys? Once you get your seabirds in, you got your bow painted in, you've got your seabird, you've got that canoe. Guess what? Your masterpiece is finished. You know it, okay? Make sure you put your famous artist signature in the lower left, the right-hand corner. Same artist signature you guys are going to use for the rest of your life, so make sure it's a good one. And there we go. Perfect, you guys. All right. Thank you for tuning in. Again, my name is Artist Nicole. If you haven't liked Artful Nights Maine, like it. And you can come to all these free shows on Sunday. And next Sunday, here's another sneak peek of our painting for next Sunday. The beautiful marsh. The beautiful fall marsh, okay? All right. I love you guys. And I will see you again next week. All right.